So, you thought Don had the best household and gardening tips. Well, tonight I'm going to show you how to recycle newspapers and get rid of your wandering Jew. And all you need is one of these. So, Betty, they're called cavies or guinea pigs. Yes, most people know them as guinea pigs, but their proper name is cavy. Cavy porcellus is their name. They originated in South America from the agouti. They're low maintenance. Um, they don't take up a lot of space. You can keep a guinea pig on the veranda of a, an apartment these days, or you can keep a guinea pig in the laundry. They like to be picked up and they like to be nursed. They like to be put on your lap and cuddled. You don't have to take it for a walk, you don't have to give it inoculations, um, you don't have heartworm troubles. They have very few problems. What's he saying? I love this. Keep, Keep doing, doing it, it, Betty. <laughs> Keep doing it, Betty. I love it. Is that what you're saying? This is pretty good, Mum. How many different types are there? I mean, how many different colours? There are nine different self colours, uh, ranging through from black to white and everything in between. Now, what about the one with the, the toilet brush looking one? Um, oh, the Abyssinian. Well, the Abyssinian's probably an old favourite. Um, we call them whirly gigs. <laughs> they, their hair throws all over the place. Now, what about the one that looks a bit like a koala? Oh, our little teddy bear fellow. That's a Rex. Their hair's a little bit like mm, steel wool, I suppose. They do look quite cute. Ow! Oh! Hey, you! <laughs> He's hungry, Rebecca. He is hungry. <laughs> and, and what do they eat? What should you feed them? Anything in the way of fruit and vegetables that you eat yourself, basically. Plastic bags are an indication of food, so you get happiness noises when you produce the plastic bag. They love wandering dew. They're a demolition job on wandering dew. Are they hard to maintain? What do you have to do to keep a guinea pig happy? Well, um, if you've got them outside on the lawn, they will live they will live on the grass quite happily. If you've got them inside or in, in a unit, you need to keep them in a hutch that's lined with a good layer of newspaper, plastic on the bottom if you want to, newspaper and then something that's absorbent, you know, kitty litter. Once it's dirty, just take it out and makes good compost for the garden um, and it's all recyclable. Do you need to bath them ever? You can bath them and they do get dandruff strangely enough so you can give them a bath with a dandruff shampoo or you can just use an ordinary pet shampoo. They're gorgeous aren't they and they make great pets but some of you might remember a few years back when Don was in Papua New Guinea he found a different purpose for them. The humble guinea pig is being bred here for meat and it's said that two guinea pigs, that is a boy and a girl, given their prodigious breeding rate, can feed a family of six for one year. You never obviously taste Oh, no. I mean, I've got a recipe for, for um, cavy stew, cavy casserole, but uh, no way in the world would no I ever eat. No. But you have a recipe. I have a recipe, yes. <laughs> how, many in the, how many in the pot? Oh, just two. Right, right. Two would make a reasonable stew. I mean, this fellow would probably make a reasonable stew. On his own? On his own, oh, yes. Oh, but no way is he going it. to the pot. No, of course not. <laughs> Thank you.